Oh, big crud, big crud. Won't kill me. We life is a burden. Actually, does nothing for that. The remains of cobbled road are barely visible. Okay. May we have a moment of respite? Informative. Someone lived here long ago. Once long ago, a sturdy watchtower rose above the forest, ready to signal an enemy's approach day or night. Now the ancient moss-covered stones were crumbling and birds rather than various inhabited the place. The ground floor had long been looted, but there still seems to be some rotted some furniture that left. Where did I get the rotted? Oh, it's there. Seemed to be some furniture left in what remained of the upper floor. A rotted table and an uneven chair and a small but seemingly robust chest. Sadly, the stairs leading up had collapsed long ago. Oh, just use my athletics. Miri. Belief. Miri deftly climbed the stones even as they crumbled beneath her feet. Feet. On the next floor, she found what must have been a living room centuries ago. There was even the rem remnants of a decomposed floor mat. The chest was heavy, but it didn't take Amiri much effort to push it to the ledge and drop it down. Pretty much breaking everything, huh? The chest fell on the stone floor with a loud thud and a huge cloud of dust rising around it. The wood had darkened after years of exposure to the sun and the rain. The metal siding had grown a layer of rust. And the decorative carvings on the lid were barely discernible. Even so, the chest itself was as robust and secure as the day it was made by some unknown dwarf master. And of course, it was still locked. We searched for the key among the runes. We tried picking the lock because we are actually so insanely good at picking stuff. The mechanic had rusted, the key had long been lost, but that matters little to our skillful lockpick. After tinkering inside the keel for a while, Octavia opened the lid triumph triumphantly. Inside we found a simple possession of a dwarven warrior who must have once been stationed in the tower. Adding it consisting of chainmail, a helmet, a shield and an axe. A pair of torn traveling boots and a metal tanker the size of a small bucket. A pipe and a full pouch of tobacco which had petrified over the years. And lastly, a peculiar little thing, a complex red metal cock. Another cock. Suited blackened uh, apron. This once belonged to an ancient dwarf, an expert. Okay. Red axe, heavy, no, this is an identified red cock, nice. We are I gathering all the cock rings. Oh, this is what I saw. There's nothing hidden, okay. So I guess I can open this now. Oh, worn parchment. On the ancient parchment, there are words written by a feeble hand, discolored with age and barely visible. Every morning I wake up as a 20-year-old boy. It's the best morning of my life. For today, in the first time, I take over the post at the watchtower of the Great Shield Road. Every morning I open my eyes and see the tower in ruins. Horrified. I grope my grey beard with a gnarled finger and slowly realize that there's no shield road anymore. And it's been this way for more years than I can count. I must be older now than the decrepit Gorgon, Gorgon was when he died and left me alone. Unforgiving time has eroded both the stones of the tower in my flesh and mind. The holy statue of Turok is the only thing itself dares not to touch. I do remember that it's my duty to guard something hidden inside the statue, but I don't remember what exactly am I guarding. The key I re wear are hanging on my neck, Lange Book's golden cock is as heavy as an anvil. Where is the Evora Dosh's white cock? I don't remember. What happened to the Skadi Jake's red cock? When its keeper Gojin died? I don't know. Every morning I go around the neighborhood looking for people I haven't for people I haven't seen any of for years. Neither traders nor bandits. Sometimes my mind tricks me to recall speaking to a hunter or scout just yesterday. But these memories are too vague to be true. I guess my feeble mind just entertains itself with illusions. I've been hoping for it too long to see a day when dwarves return to restore the road. 
And I would seriously doubt that there's any one of my kin left in this world. Or anyone alive at all. Maybe some unimaginable plaque has raised away every single living soul in the world of Galarin. Except for me. If someday someone returns to this part and manages to read this, remember our name. This tower was ruled by dwarves of the Rorondash, Skrijak and Langebuk, clans in 4241. It was abandoned in abandoned, abandoned. Oh my god, I finally got it. In 404099. We the last shields were left behind to keep our Tony watch for the glory of Torak and the Roman people. Our names were Gorgon Skrijak and Rogue Langebuk. It was our free choice, and we have no regrets. Remember us. I already forgot, but I'm sure you're an awesome dude. I swear this ghost is going to attack me. I like the time worn watchtower, the statue of Turk is in a perfect condition. The dwarven god's face has a stern look, almost accusatory when combined with the surrounding devastation. I can bow his hat and whisper a short prayer before the statue. Exception. Examine the statue, you. I failed. No, I did not. Dwarven artisans are famous for installing clever hidden mechanics, mechanis, mechanisms in their works. You discover a hidden panel with a niche above it. The niche is set of jagged roofs adorned with arcane symbols seem to be connected to something deeper inside the statue. <gasps> oh my god. It seems that access to Turk's treasure will require the missing cocks. Put the three cocks in the mechanism. You have all three cocks, but you're not sure how to fit into the mechanism. Maybe the calm markings inside are clues. How about we just shove it in? What? Okay. This is... What was that? This is harder than you thought. It takes some effort to place his cocks into and remove them from the mechanisms. After several hours of failed attempts, you finally find the right combination. So all of the cocks can now return. You will take the cocks and hear a rumbling noise from the statue, followed by a loud click. The panel opens, revealing the treasure stored spy? within. What do I spy? Onion soup and a belt. Full plate. Oh boy. My boy. I love that. Alright. Troll Reaper. <laughs> That's interesting. Wait. Maybe she can wear that. Wait. It looks stronger. Let's see. This plus one great XD is additional 1d6 axe damage. Enhancement plus one. Attacks with this weapon get... Well, enhancement. Person weapon deals an extra... Okay. Technically, this is stronger, but... Wait, this is actually so much stronger. I'm taking it. It looks so cool. Alcata. Salt. Sai. Salt. 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 Heavy crossbow. What's the difference between heavy and small, I wonder? I don't care about both. So, I will keep it actually. Alright, so what about this? Started leather plus two. It is worse than that. Not better. She could technically wear that. I'm just gonna give it to him since I know Rock Rack won't want it. Full plate. And it's better. We will wear that. Wear that. Breastplate. Miri? Maybe we give that to a Miri. Then she loses her backspin spell. Backskin spell, not backspin spell. 
It's like a little tin break, I swear. I kind of want to have her to be more tanky, so I suppose I will make her worth that. She's not losing too much, right? Just a little speed, which is good. No damage loss, no attack loss, so that's as much as I could hope for. Bald of physical perfection, plus two bonus to strength and dexterity and constitution? Wait, what? All three? Wait, 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 wait. Strength, dexterity, and constitution. Uh, who who else that? I mean, I could give it to Amiri. She just can't make use of Dextery. That's a problem. Uh, this is a, like like the perfect belt for um, our, 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 our big orc chat. The guy that wants to bone every person he meets. I'm actually going to give it to him. Or I give it to myself. <laughs> nah. Nah. Alright. That was such a nice loot from that. May we have a moment of respite? Forward! So didn't this guy say something about a hollow tree? I think I already got the item. But maybe? Was there somewhere a hollow tree? <laughs> oh, there's something hollow? Maybe we already got it through a perception check. Maybe we step, did, step, I can't step. tell. It's a hollow. No, that's just a camp. I just assume we got it. 